Hi, this is Valerie with At My Home. This year at CES, we saw a lot of products focused on health and wellness. Uh, things like sleep trackers and smart beds and ways to keep track of your health and cooking products. One of the things we thought was really interesting was from a company called Food Marble. Now, Food Marble, we met downstairs in Eureka Park at CES. That's the startup section. They're out of Ireland, and Food Marble makes a product called the AIR. It's A-I-R-E. Now, what this is, it's a breath analyzer, and it's the same technology that doctors use when they're trying to help diagnose different issues with food and digestion, and it uses that same technology, and it pairs it up with your smartphone so you can help figure out what foods your digestive system works with best. Now, this Food Marble Air is a pretty complex product. So what we thought we'd do is that we'd start off today by walking you through the setup and unboxing the product and showing you how it works. And then over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to test it every day. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use the breath analysis and I'm going to keep track of what I eat. And then in a couple of weeks, we'll do a full video explaining exactly how it worked and what we thought about it. So let's get started. Okay, so let's take this out of the box and get it set up. So here we got here. Okay, so there's two different things here. Okay, this is the air device itself, and this is the FODMAP, so I'll explain that in a minute. So this is the air device. It's got a quality seal on it, especially because I'm going to breathe into it. I'm glad to know that no one has breathed into it yet. So, and there's no returns if you remove this. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it now. All right, I remove the quality seal, and this is it. It comes with a little case, so you can carry it around with you. And this is the quick start directions with a QR code. I've already got the app, so I'll show you how that works. And it gets charged via USB cable. This is a looks like a um, micro USB. Now to use this, you have to first download the app. Uh, the app is called Air, A-I-R-E. Just grab it from the App Store. And then once you've downloaded the app, there's uh, some questions you'll need to answer. It'll basically set up your personal profile. You have to go ahead and put in a username and password. And then it will ask you some questions about your age, your gender, uh, your weight, your height, because these are all things that are going to impact how your body digests foods. So you go ahead and you go through and answer all those different questions. And then um, if you think you already have some problems with food, some things that you know about, maybe you think you might be have a problem with milk or digesting beef or there's all these different foods in here that you can go ahead and search through. So if you think there's something you want to monitor right away, you can go ahead and put that in there. But that's optional and you can skip any of these questions if you want to. So now we're at the point where I've answered all the questions and I've set up my profile and so we're here at the screen. Welcome. Let's get started and power on our air to start pairing. So it's got here on the screen. It guides you right through it. You push the button, hold it, and start pairing. Now it's connecting. And it's now paired. Let's get started. All right. Now the first thing it's going to do is to have me take my first breath test. So I'll push this button here. So it's going to guide me through my first breath test. So here you can see on the device, it's got a little light inside. That's the mouthpiece that I'm going to blow into. When it's warming up, these lights over here will turn on. Now the air is going to come out of this end right here. And then here's a charging port, the power button. So let's go ahead. It's, I've got it. I'm going to do my first breath test. It's got a nice guide here that's going to walk me through it. So I need to inhale, hold my breath, make a seal, and then exhale. All right. So it walked me through my first score and it gave me a 4.3. It says that's okay. So what I've eaten today hasn't been fully absorbed and I haven't logged any meals yet. 
so it's hard to know what's causing the fermentation. So basically this is my very first test, but I did okay and I follow the directions, so I'm gonna click okay. Okay, now it's giving me some guidelines how often I should test. And it says I should at least do a minimum gap of five minutes between breath tests, but they recommend 30 to 60 minutes between tests. And so now I've logged my very first breath and I don't have any meals or anything logged, but this has got inside the app, I can log my food and it will have some categories so I can choose my food and it's got different challenges for me and it's got to track to see my daily trends. So that's it. That's my very first breath that I've tracked here on the Food Marble Air and I'm going to continue to use it and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, so now that we've got this all paired up, I'm going to put it over here and we're going to open up this other box with the food maps or the FOD maps, F-O-D-M-A-P-S. So uh, one of the things that you can do with the food marble is in addition to keeping track of the things that you're eating all the time and logging it on the app, is test for some really common things that people have intolerances for. And so these food maps um, have different things. So this is one for lactose or milk sugar. Uh, this is called inulin. It's a common carb. So these are some things that are in uh, bread, onions, uh, noodles, cookies, things like that. And then fructose um, is another one. So this is fruit sugars. And this is things that you would find in, you know, common fruits. And then sorbitol is a natural sweetener. This one. It's a natural sweet sweetener and it's in a lot of different like sugar-free drinks or chewing gum and things like that. So you can use these food maps and you can do the analysis with your air and you can actually test to see if, if you have some intolerances to some of these different products. So this will be interesting. We can go through this and uh, we'll do a full report out when we do our final review.